Now we're gonna stop doing this. We're not gonna do this anymore. Because we gotta go talk to... Are you on my horse? Oh, I could have sworn. It looks like somebody's on my horse, but it's... It's not. It's just a, a very big bird. A very big bird. Man, am I still high? Uh, let's mark that while we're at it. We're, it's gonna be equal parts exploring, equal parts quests, equal parts jumping back and backtracking. Oh, it's gonna be so good. Unbelievable. Careful there, partner. You went and scared all the little birds away. It's too easy to be so loud. Or too early? Too early. <laughs> you go storming around like that and it won't be just the birds you send flying for the hills. I'll send you flying through the hills. How would you like that? I have an amazing falcon punch. Why are you looking at me like that? It's fine, though. I did hear some interesting chirps and warbles from them. Can you speak birds? I guess that would make sense. I don't want to say this too loud and start to panic, but rumors are spreading about Princess Zelda, that she's been riding some mysterious beast. It is said to be a mountain of a beast, too. One with huge, brutal tusks. That's the only description I can give. So you have no clue if it's a dragon or a giant boar. My little reporters had never seen something so frightening. Of course, what made it far worse than it seemed was like, was like the princess herself was controlling this terrifying creature. You'd think this would be, you know, calming, but apparently this makes it much worse. I find it hard to believe that a Lu uh, Louis like that, sorry, I was thinking of, you know, people who just control large beasts and are calamitous to the lands. I find it hard to believe a beast like that could be lurking around. But if this monster still e or exists, then the implications make this a very, very huge story. You know, there were guests at the stable, uh, stable talking about some sort of rumored beast. My little bird informants told me that there have been a number of sightings in the subtropical region in the south. Which is awesome, because that's exactly where I'd like to go. N well, not next, but, you know, soon. If you'd like to learn more, we should dive big first into the stable and others to see if there's any truth to these rumors. I will continue to talk to birds, because I do not talk to bipedal creatures. Only those that can fly. Which is why I talk to you, because you are a bird. Yet another quest. Which this one, I guess we won't be completing anytime soon. Ooh, a squirrel. A mop! And a well. I was tempted to just walk away from the well, to be honest. What's in here? Man, I kind of miss Redeads. Uh. What? Oh, wait. I'm dumb. Blow that up, and I'm guessing that'll drain the water? Yep, I guessed correctly. Man, it's amazing that we were able to drain water. Uh, it would have been... You know, it's impossible to dive underwater. That's It's never been done, right? It's never been done. So why start now? Why can't we dive underwater? I, that actually really irks me, by the way, because, like, I'm pretty sure the entire reason for that... Weird looking. The entire reason for that decision stems from the fact that Monolith Soft designed the map for Breath of the Wild. And Monolith Soft, Soft, for some reason, is deathly allergic of of allowing players to go underwater. And so here at Tears of the Kingdom, which I'm pretty sure Monolith Soft has very little involvement in, that decision continues to echo, and so many different interesting locales... I mean, okay, Ocarina of Time had the ability to dive underwater. And this game doesn't. It There's so many cool avenues they could open up if they just, you know, opened up the third dimension of water. Hi, Beetle. Hey, hey there, we, may, we meet again. Are you still moving forward on this little journey we are call life? Or are you going to end it all in some tr tragic cliff jumping experiment to die? Uh, let's see. Do I care? I have a lot of money, but at the same time... I don't think I want to spend it, so goodbye, goodbye, sir. All right, uh, there, there's a woman over here that had a quest, it looks like. How much of a wagon? Yeah. Oh, 
Oh, a customer already. Early bird, huh? I'm kind of in the middle of something, but if you'd like to use the stable, you can go up to the counter. What are you up to? Ah, well, since you asked. I'm looking at this wagon. The wheel is truly an amazing invention. After a long and tireless search, I found a wagon to call my own. Look at this butte. It's a Buick. Ah, uh, okay, yes, well, clearly it's a fixer-upper. But I can replace the missing wheels using building materials from the stable. I'll just have to catch a wild horse to hook the wagon up to, and I'll be set! Uh... Okay. I don't think I need to ask. Fine, don't offer to help. Yeesh! Do I look like I can fix a horse-drawn wagon on my own? It's not as if I wouldn't pay you back. I give you all my savings, in fact. Okay, I gotta know how much- how much money has this woman had saved up? First and foremost, make this super- why are you yikesing? Calm. Oh my word. Huh? What? It's fixed? It's fixed. Did you do this for me? Thank you so, so much. It's like a brand new wagon with wheels and everything. Now I'm one step, only one step away from my dream of having a horse-drawn wagon, and that is a horse. If only there were horses nearby, but there aren't. All right, let's go. Let's go catch us a horse. Just a little bit of gold classic shock and jock. There's a horse. There's a horse. There's a bow. A very weak bow. We're gonna shoot this. And casually jaunt on up. Oh. There we go. Easy peasy. Also, that looks like a... How is that not a Korok? Oh, it's a... Cave? That's kind of nuts. Well, let's let's deal with this first. We'll deal with this first. Hey, lady! I got a horse. It's um very slightly damaged. It's a very slightly damaged horse. Um, don't mind the arrows sticking out it out of it, or all of the lemons. Did you catch this angel for me? It's just what I pictured. Perfect for pulling my wagon. Why are there never mind. Huh? You mean that? You're really, you'd really part with such a wonderful horse. Thank you. Wow. Who knew stuff like this really happened? I'm so very happy. I'll just go ahead and put a harness on it. A harness is a piece of equipment that you can put on horses you own. I don't know how I'm explaining this to you, but you can connect your horse to a wagon or item you need to take somewhere. If you collect, connect, collect enough pony points, you can get one as a prize. So bear with me a moment. And we're all set. I can't believe it. A wagon of my own and a beautiful horse to pull it. I think I started with that old piece to think I started with that old piece of junk and ended up like this. Amazing. Thank you so, so much. Here, it's all I have left after buying the wagon. I'm begging you, no, forcing you to take it. Please. That's a lot of money. That's you know, that's respectable. Oh, that's right, there's one last order of business. What's your name? Uh, Korok? Guy? Link? Hmm. Zumi. Link. Maybe. Zuli. Or Lumi. What about Zunk? I'll call this this wagon Zunk. <laughs> I promise to look after Zunk for as long as I live. Feel free to visit the two of us anytime. <laughs> it's perfect. Oh, Link, did you come in to check in on Zunk? Since you worked so hard to make my wagon complete, I promise I'll never, ever let anything happen to it. But is that all you wanted, or did you need something else from me? I may not be of much help, but, you know, whatever you want. No, I'm good. Doesn't he know I'm a trove of knowledge about horses? He'll miss out on all my hidden tricks for handling them and stuff. You just... 
Just handle that that carriage. Just you, just just take care. Okay. Uh. Okay. Where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? Uh. There was a. Did I not place a beacon? Like two seconds ago. Why did this? Oh, I think they disappear. Actually, okay. Before we before we do that, I think they disappear when I I step over them, and I probably accidentally stepped over them. You. Let's see, what's in this issue of the Lucky Clover Gazette? Hey, what's the news? Rito Village safe from Cumulus Crisis. Rito life returns to normal with the departure of the massive cloud. And in related news, the Stormwind Ark, a ship straight out of the legends of the Rito, has appeared. Oh, I remember hearing about a fabled uh, savior of the Rito tribe. I thought for sure that it was a fairy tale. Guess I was wrong. There's so much to read in these newspapers. Well, I guess I'll leave you to it. Strange to think to think that I can learn about the world affairs just by reading the paper. Seems like that big cold snap in Hebrew is over. Maybe I ought to take a little field trip to, to the Lucky Clover Gazette. Again, uh, the game is pushing us towards places and making sure we don't we we're not missing anything, which is cool of it. It's it's cool. Okay, uh, there was a hole around here somewhere. There it is, there it is, there it is. I did not want to jump over it, but I appreciate overachieving. Discovery! North Hyrule Plain Cave. Oh boy. Oh, this is gonna be a whole thing, isn't it? This is like, this is titled? Hello! I am also here. Uh, I'll use this. Always double tap. No other Herblins, no other whammies. Okay, we're good. Just some mushrooms, a little frog treading water over there. We can't have that, you better not tread water. You can tread lint in my pocket. I did not want to do that. Get, get, get up, get up, get up, get up, please. Get up. Oh my word. Okay, back on the path. Uh, like like it's been so long. I actually legitimately forgot that like likes exist. I mean not like exist period because like I grew up on Ocarina of Time, but like, you know, well, there are two of them Ow, I don't think I've ever gotten hit by one of these. It doesn't eat my shield. That's unfortunate Come on Show me your orb Show me there it is. Who would have thought that my ladle wouldn't do much damage? Oh, it ate up! It ate! It ain't reach you! Come on! Come on! Okay. Now, we have a Korok near here. I don't think Koroks are ever, ever underground. So I don't need to worry about that. It looks like I'm already at the exit as well. So that was the reward. Make sure these waterfalls don't have anything behind them. Were the like likes just the reward here? I almost... That's a pretty good reward, actually. I'm like, I'm not complaining. I just want to make sure I'm not missing anything. And there we are, outside the cave. With the Korok seed somewhere, probably on top. Okay, now that we are, um, <clears throat> now that we're done with that, um, I do want to kind of explore this region a little bit on a surface level. And and what we're going to be doing is, uh, I'm going to be kind of a uh, kind of almost doing like a salad video, uh, where I'm going to be mixing and matching um, exploration with one of the three quests that we need to pursue. Uh, chasing that down, so uh, that's that's kind of just be going to be the format here. Okay, jump off, Gangle, before his health bar even shows up. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe. Come on. There we go. Deader than dead, cadaverific. Come on. Yeah, I think I think if we do that, then it'll never really feel like we're we're just exploring, and it'll never feel like we're just doing quests. So I can, it 
I think we'll get through this really quick and it'll make the episodes really interesting. Uh, okay, so let's start by going inside this well. Oh, it's the guy! It's the, the cook guy! And there are some pumpkins here. We haven't met this person yet, but we've we've heard of them. There was a there was another cave uh, towards the the Gerudo region. This proved more comfortable than I expected. Not too hot, not too cold. Cozy, really. Well, for a well. I I had no need for heat resistant chili ingredients or cold resistant warm ones. I cooked for pleasure instead of survival. For a time, I considered tile, tilling the soil in here, living off the land until the end of my days. But times have changed. The upheaval formed a myriad of new caves. Consider my curiosity peaked. Unexplored lands are a veritable buffet of cooking materials, and I, Ari Tamu, intend to dig in. If you seek fortune, keep moving. Chef Ari Tamu, master of cuisine. Yeah, that's... <clears throat> we've, we've heard of her. We have yet to meet her. Uh, also... I don't remember if there's actually anything good in here, um, or if it's just like a little bit of lore and then and then we're free to move on. It looks like it's just arrows and random knickknacks. All right, moving on. Just gonna keep moving. Bang, bang, bang. No chest. All right, move on. Uh, I oh, I see it. I can just grab this right now. No need for me to cut this out. No need for me to uh, mark the map. Ooh, can I do this like the movies? Can I do this? I'm gonna I'm gonna whistle my horse and see if. Oh, you know what? No, never mind. There's another well. There's so many wells. Oh hi. Bye. Uh no enemies. Whoa! Looking the wrong way. Yeah, yeah. Like like number one. And, come on. Like, like number two. Oh my word. Please die, thank you. A bunch of sticky lizards and... Uh, just rocks. Okay, I could have gotten you in the mines. Um, or in the, the depths. Um, but there's a chest, there's a chest, there's a chest. Certainly that has something, right? Royal shields. Yeah, honestly, my shields were looking a little bit scant, a little bit gaunt, even, if I can apply that term to, you know, an object and not a person. I, I was gaunt on shields, and I, you know what, that's not worth it. Another royal shield. Let's go. Uh, the kite shield doesn't do anything special, I don't think, so I'm, I'm fine to drop that. You know, my horse kind of looks like a golden enemy, doesn't it? Like, it's the same exact shade. That's kind of weird. Um, I, I have a feeling that that's going to mess me up. Granted, I don't think there are any golden enemies in this game, which is, you know, for the best. Master mode... <sighs> Master mode was cool. Um, it did some certain things I wish were, like, that they did from the start in the base game. Um, like, all the different e enemy camp arrangements. Um, in Breath of the Wild, I mean, in this game too, but more so in Breath of the Wild, they were very formulaic. Um, and the, you know, if you saw one, you've seen them all. But in, um, in Master Mode, they added the floating fortresses, which was really cool. Um, and it was, it was honestly really sweet. Why is this... Oh. I'd rather not waste the time on whatever shenanigan they want me to actually do. I have a... That was actually really lame. I That was not worth a rocket. Still worth a shrine, though. So much has happened since the last recording device. Like, in both my personal life and then also... Also, just gaming in general. It's... It's been pretty exciting. I... I... I'm tempted to make this a separate video, and I probably am. What do they want me to do here? Hold on. Um, I don't know if I can ascend through this, but I can at least I can at least do this. 
I can just use it as a platform. Cool. There we go. Uh, like, a new Zelda game's been revealed, and I have some very strong thoughts on that. Um, I shared them in the comments, but I, I kind of want to make another video, like an actual video on it. I, I need to see if I can get my, my camera set up for that. I think that would be really sweet to actually um, make content, because, like, I love making Let's Plays. Don't get me wrong. I absolutely adore this format. I love talking to you guys. I love sharing my thoughts um, and experiencing games for the first time or showing off ones that I I have played and uh, adore uh, from childhood. I, I love doing that because I can go back and revisit them myself. And it's, it's fun to be directed by, you know, random people on the internet and have a blast together. But... Um, with my return to YouTube, I do kind of want to do content as well. Um, and talking about the new Zelda game and my thoughts about that might be that content. Thankfully, did I get the chest? Hold on. I didn't. Where is it? There we go. I can't believe I missed this. I just thought it was like an alternate way to get up, but I, I didn't see that it had a, a chest on it. Now, to be fair, I didn't need the chest. Like, I don't, I don't really need any of these chests. The rewards on them aren't good, but you notice on the map here, there's a little chest icon next to the name, and I'm always very meticulous and make sure that I get all of these, which is why as I'm mousing around here, you're not gonna see any that don't have them. I'm not gonna be proven a liar. Yeah, I, I'm always very good about that, and um, I don't, I don't remember if that counted as 100% in Breath of the Wild, but it kind of counts as 100% in my book because it's something that's so easy. Oh my word! It's something that's so easy to do as long as you do it as you go, um, and it. I mean, it's an icon. Come on, it's. You can't go through the game without getting all the icons. 